sawdust on it. Yes. Hey. Yes. Penny prop. That's what she said. We don't want to run layers. So every every uh, every every uh, point. Here we've got kind of a small, big ass plane, or a big ass small plane. But this, it was in paintball today, right? So. We, What'd you do to that thing? Why, why did it get all shot up like that? Well, uh, wait, wait a second. Let me get some close looks to this. So, so did somebody step on your plane? Well, no, they wouldn't put holes in it like that. Stepping on it, did somebody See, did somebody not like you and attack your plane? Here at Sefweed, uh, we have a couple of vendors and a couple of sponsors to get together and do this thing called paintball combat, where a bunch of airplanes go up in the air and fly in a big circle while about seven people shoot at them with semi-automatic paintball guns. And they have unlimited ammo. It's crazy. And the way you win this event is by taking the most hits without crashing and pleasing the crowd the best. And that's what I did. Uh, last year I did this and my airplane held up real well but I ran out of battery and had to land. And so I went out about halfway through the event. So this year I put a bigger battery in the airplane and more motors on it. and. and Lower RPM so it would last longer. And uh, so I take off and I climb out. In the first pass around, I was a little bit too high. Nobody, nobody could hit me. So I came in lower and slower the second time. And if you look right here, they knocked my right aileron completely off the airplane, which it can still fly that way. So the next time around, they knock my left aileron off the airplane. So, anybody who knows, a three-channel airplane will still fly. So I have rudder and, and uh, elevator, and I make about three more laps like that, ish, don't quote me. And then they shoot my rudder off. And behind me, I hear this guy go, oh, he's going down now. But I have an eight-channel receiver in this airplane, and two of those channels are motors, so I have differential thrust. So I flip the differential thrust on, and I then have rudder back by, by pulsing the motors. So I was able to make a couple more laps that way. But then, somebody got a lucky shot and took both elevators off in one straight run. And at that point, the airplane, the airplane went like this. And it went up and it stopped. And then I used my differential thrust put it into a flat spin and managed to pretend it was a helicopter and kind of auto gyro or anyway. Flat spin. Flat spin, but I, I lost velocity in the down and the airplane landed without even breaking the landing gear. But everything so, else is pretty much broken. So well I gotta put all new control surfaces on and then the, it'll fly. At this at this point that's that's meaningless. It, it, everything else may be broken, but but, it, it, but, but just it so landed. long but just so it long. Landed it landed with no landed. control surfaces. It landed with no control that's surfaces. Not landing. No, it landed. He no, landed. It was falling with style. It hey, that was that was the most. It fell with enough most, style that I didn't break the landing gear. If you come down without breaking your landing gear and it was on the landing gear, that's a landing. <laughs> Carl here has got the motor system set up. He's got, we just found the receiver. We're only got 6S on it. 12. 12S on it. We're, we're kind of girling out. Uh, we're going to turn one motor, make sure it's turned the right direction. If it's not, we'll reverse it. Then we'll turn it off, turn the other motor, make sure it's turning the right direction, because otherwise, if we had them fighting each other, things go boom. That's bad. So. The battery just turn around? Yeah, yeah, turn, here. If it's backwards, you go like this. And then the motor turns the right direction. But we're gonna check it this way. All right. So, for the very first time, let's see if it turns. That's the right way. Yay! All right. That's barely any throttle. Ramp that mother up. That's more than five thousand RPM. Go go. Go it. Go it. That was a scoop up. This game was nice. The belt's not walking, is it? Safe. But that it turns. <laughs> <laughs> Round of applause for Carl, please. Yeah. Yeah. Is, it, is it turning?
heading the right direction. I love this noise, too. Who? Tiger blood. Tiger blood. Who? 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 Tiger blood. Alles gut, ja? Everything's coming along very, very nicely. Uh, timing seems to be good. We're going to get this thing in the air today. The wind is not cooperating real well, but eh, it's wind. Airplanes don't care about air, what direction it's going. They just want speed. So we're going to fly it. That's all I know. Right now we're working on a sort of like a counterbalance. <laughs> um, Gravity wants to pull the control horn down, so when the airplane's sitting static, the controls are so heavy they want to drop. Well, putting all that force against our servo, so to alleviate that force, we basically have to change that hole, but we basically run from here to a block to here, and what that does is that pulls that, takes that preload off of that servo and still allows this to stretch so that when the controls move down, they can still move. The servo just pulls against it, but it takes that stress off the servo, and it stabilizes the control surface just a little bit. So that's what we're doing right now for both ailerons, both elevator halves over here. The rudder will be fine. Um, we can stabilize it if we need to, but I don't think it's going to need it. Uh, wing is mounted now. They just got that done. The, obviously the controls and servo for the wing, ailerons are already in, uh, control rods are made, they're making control rods for the elevator halves. Uh, we got to tighten up a belt on the motor and we're like getting really close to taxiing this thing out. So pretty cool. Uh, we, we had so many people, so many people jump in and help on this project. I couldn't, there's no way I could even list them. Uh, it would take 20 minutes to read off the names if, I, if we had them all written down. So, you know, it, it, amazing the, the way people come together when they see a project like this and get out here and, and just jump on stuff. And sometimes you just take a step back and you just stand here and you look. And you just watch all the groups jumping on a piece, jumping on a part, and, you know, thinking and talking and scratching their heads and then just doing something to make it happen. Uh, and it's just really neat to see. So we're just really having a good time. Towards me? Up in the boat. We'll uh, uh, we'll uh, drive the crew up underneath and we'll come on in through the side here, and that should hold us pretty secure. Okay. Uh, now, as far as height goes, that's the only problem. Is I'm I'm just guessing at height. Um,
headwind. I remember flat. that. And that happens. And every week you talk to this guy and you see him and you're like, why don't you try this? Why? And he doesn't listen and he just keeps doing it over and over. You know that guy? Oh, yeah. That's what's about to happen. Nah. <laughs> On a much grander scale. <laughs> so it's going to be quite interesting. Uh, big ass plane. This is the big ass plane. That's right. I'm too short. Somebody crash. Put me on your shoulder. <laughs> Let me stand on his golf cart. There you go, buddy. All right. What we're looking at here is Team Cobra, uh, the A-Team, the Kraut Crew, Multi-RC, Arcola RC, Lanes Planes, uh, the Crash Cast, uh, Spats, and, and I can't even remember everybody, huh? Castle. Well, obviously Castle, we'll get to Helen. Uh, we are the guys that built this thing. We kind of all fall into the Team Cobra umbrella, the insanity that is Team Cobra. Uh, it's a 24-foot wingspan airplane. We started the build on Saturday, finished it about 20 minutes ago, got it balanced. Uh, it's got twin Castle Creations Vertigo 700 helicopter motors on a belt drive with 12S, how many? Hey. How, uh, how many milliamps, Carl? 21,600. 21,600 milliamps of 12S. Uh, the two motors, if you, don't get, if you haven't looked at it, get a look at this belt drive setup on the front of this airplane. It's phenomenal. Carl did an outstanding job on it. Um, Castle Creations obviously provided us with the BECs. There's a receiver on the nose for the motor. There's a receiver in the right aileron, a BEC and a battery. There's a receiver, battery, and uh, uh, servo on the left aileron and another one for the tail. So each surface has its own radio, its own receiver, its own BEC, and its own battery power. Uh, the servos are 555 ounce inches of torque. They're phenomenally big, monstrous, powerful servos. The airplane, anybody who was not in the building earlier when we waited cannot answer this. So if you were in the building and you know the answer, don't say it. Who was not in there and has no clue what this airplane weighs? Give me your estimate back there in the white shirt. 200. 275. 54. 275. Can I, get, can I get a three? Can I get a three? Can I get 180. 54. Right here, what do you think? 18,000. 18,000 pounds. He's close. One more person. How much? 75. 75 pounds. We were shooting for 100 pounds. Okay. We might have exceeded that by a little. <laughs> he said exceeded. Exceeded. 250 pounds. Oh, wow. Keep it mine. Is Mac out here, Mac? Where you at? One dollar. <laughs> Does anybody know how much Mac's little orange and tan plane in there weighs? There he is. About 250 pounds. Here he comes. 460. 220. 220. So we weigh more than your airplane. 250. Hey. <laughs> He's got 15 horsepower, we've got 13 horsepower. 15. 15 horsepower? What is it? 10,000 watts. How big is your prop? 50 inches. Can we borrow it? How high does it go? 36 foot. Okay, we've got a 36 inch prop and a 24 foot wingspan. We're not terribly far off. Do you think it'll fly, Mac? Four minutes. Let's find out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's do it. All right, let's talk about sponsors real quick. If you look at the leading edge of that wing, you'll see a bunch of names. Uh, all those names on there are people who donated money for us to build this project. They sent it to us, they handed it to us. We had a couple of anonymous donations. You know who you are, thank you so much 
Uh, we definitely appreciate everything that all you people did for us. Otherwise, this wouldn't be a, a reality. Uh, the uh, other side of the wing shows all the company sponsors. And uh, I can't see them and I don't want to forget anybody, so I'm going to allow you to read them and look at them on the videos and pictures of all this. On the left side of the fuselage up here by the motor, you'll see all of us, the people who built it. Um, Prodrenaline is kind of a big thing on this. Prodrenaline uh, is doing a video of this. They're a flight, or I'm sorry, a video stabilization and video editing software type thing. So take a look at Prodrenaline.com. Obviously Castle Creations, big, big time sponsor on this. Um, Extreme Flight gave us some stuff that we wouldn't be, we wouldn't be able to fly it without their stuff. Carl! Carl! You got your radio on? Radio's on. Okay. Hey, Lane, you reckon those folks on the other side of the pond are safe? No, no. no. The people in Alabama. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't tell me what are doing. I think Alabama's out of range. I got aileron, I got rudder. Lane, we have a question back here. Did you set all five fail safes? Don't worry about Did it. Did you set all five? No. <laughs> What's fail safe? What's fail safe? Let's go. Yeah. What does fail mean? We had it on failing. Yeah, there's always an option. Fail safes are for failures. Okay, check trim. Oh, sorry, we'll check the island. That's it? All right, everybody, trash bags in hand. <laughs> Those fantastic Castle ESCs offer a nice slow start. Very important to know it's not going anywhere. I see white things flying. Oh, yeah. There you go. Now that looks like Team Cobra. Oh, she's pulling. Captain. Did you video well, that? Shaft broke. Please yeah, no, down, actually, I, I think I got two seconds walking over here and then the boom. Okay. Yeah.